attendance. So for attendance, we need to go into the portal. It doesn't always work well if you go into WebAdvisor directly. You need to log into your portal. And then you will need to go into WebAdvisor from there. And you will go into WebAdvisor for faculty, faculty information, web attendance tracking, attendance tracking. You will choose your course and up here this date is important. You need to make sure that every date your course is supposed to meet is included up here. So I take my attendance usually for seated courses and hybrid courses on Fridays. So let's say the 25th was a Friday. I would need to come up here and put the date for the 21st so that when I opened it up, the dates for Monday through Friday would all show on the screen. So let's see, let's, let me look at this and see my calendar. So last Friday was the 21st. So let's say I was going to do my attendance on Friday. The Monday was the 17th. So if I choose my course and I open it up, Across the top of the screen, I see Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And of course, I also see since today's not Friday, there's some extra days out here. So I'm seeing all those days across the screen. And you have to see every day that is scheduled for that course across the screen. So even if no one is absent, so even if nobody's absent, I still have to log in, take into account every day, check my box, and hit submit. So that when you look over here on the left, you're going to see dates that are populated for the days that the student has entered the course. Now for someone who is never absent, that would mean that this number over here would be the same number as the days the class meets. So that's what this number represents. So you can see that out of the 17 days that I've recorded, this person's missed one of those, this person's missed two of those. So at the end, if they never miss anymore, they're still going to be two days behind the people who have never missed. Now in an online course, you only need to see dates for once per week. So that would mean in a 16 week course, this number over here should at least be 16 because you're logging in at least one day per week. In an eight week course, you would need to see the dates for eight of those days and they would need to be at least once per week. So you need to see a date across the top of the screen to account for at least one day per week. For a hybrid course, for each portion of it, for the seated portion, you need to see all the dates across the top that the class meets. For the online portion, you need to see one day per week at least in each of those online portions of the course. So for the seated portion, the number out here for anyone who never misses a date would be the days that are in the course, the days that they are in the classroom in the seated portion. For the online portion, if it's a 16-week class, then you would at least have the number 16 out here for those people. And then you would, of course, check your box. At the end, you would check this last box and hit submit. So that's what this is doing and that's why the auditors have problems with it because if you go in, like, let's say, and do your E and then you never log back in again, even if, you know, coincidentally, no one was ever absent in your course. If you go in and you only log in again at the end, this date over here is only going to calculate the days that have been seen on the screen. So the auditor is going to look at this and go, 
wait a minute, this class was supposed to meet 45 days. It only met three days. Where are the other 42 days of instruction? So that's what's happening, and that's why the auditor has such a problem with this.